and how you can quickly load presets into Photoshop. I'm going to run through a selection of presets such as brushes, custom shapes, etc. So, first one, I'm just going to quickly go over to the brush tool, just select brush, and if you want to load that, just go to window and brushes. And once you've got that, you can go over here to the right side there, and there's an option for import brushes. So, you can also use the load replace feature, which I'm going to show as well in the preset manager. So, import brushes, just select that. And once that comes up, you've got a whole range of different brush ABR files. That's basically what you've got to look for, ABR files. And I'm just going to quickly load one of those brushes there. These are from the Graphic Extras website. So just click open. And once you've done that, you've actually got them loaded as a group there. Now another option would be this is the actual designs. Now another option would be go to the edit and just quickly go down here to presets and preset manager. And there's a whole range of options here, such as load as well. So just click load, and then you can just select that, and again open, and they're added as a group there as well. Right, that's for the brushes. So also, if you are using an earlier version of Photoshop, using something like CS6, CS5, etc., you would have to use the load feature. So now done that. Go to the custom shapes and. What you can do, you can just go up here and select the shape. You can see this preset panel here. Go over to the right side and then say load shapes. So just select load shapes. And again, these are custom shapes from Graphic Extras. Find them on the Graphic Extras website. And you can see then you've got them loaded just down there. You can also use the replace command that actually will remove all the existing ones, replace them, and add them with just that set. Now, also, there's other presets, so I'm just going to quickly go over to the gradient tool. Just there, there's the gradient, and what you can do with the gradients, you can quickly click there and go up here, and then just go to load gradients or select any gradients you've actually added to the presets folder. So, do that as well. I'm just going to say load gradients, and I'm just going to select a GRD file. That's where you've got to look for GRD file, and then open. And you can see the gradients there. Again, these are from graphic extras, so you can just use them like that. Another preset that's very useful, patterns. So if you want to go for patterns, just select one of the pattern tools. You can go for like pattern stamp tool, or maybe create layer, <coughs> new fill layer and pattern. Once you've actually got that, then you've got the patterns there. You can do just quote over here, and then you can say load patterns just from that right side menu. So just load patterns and just select that PAT file. That's what you want to look for in Photoshop. Click open. Now there's others as well. So I'm just going to just go down and they're the ones that have just been added there. There's also many other presets, obviously TPL, etc. and swatches and many more. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.